Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So today is Thursday, guys, and I'm coming on because I'm going to be doing a what's for dinner. Um, I had some odds and ends in the refrigerator tonight, so I figured I would just come up with, um, create some sort of pasta. So that's what I'm going to do. I have um, a thing of ground sausage. I'm going to, um, I'm sauteing that. I'm going to add that to leftover marinara that my husband had made when I was away in PA. And I have mozzarella. I'm going to put that all in an, in a baking dish with the mozzarella and a little bit of heavy cream and, um, and mix it all together and with all the seasonings and grated cheese and all that. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven for a few minutes. All right, guys, so let's get started. I'm going to bring you over to the um, stove and show you the sausage in one sec. All right, guys, so here's the sausage cooking up. I shut it off because what I was going to do, I was going to add this marinara to this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it in one of those little, it's in one of my casserole dishes, and I'm going to make it more like a, like a ziti, but like a baked ziti. But I'm going to put um, different things in it. I'm going to put some cream cheese in it. I'm going to put some heavy cream, and I'm going to do the sausage. But I'm not going to load it all in the gravy. I'm going to put gravy in it to mix it up and stuff. I'll show you as I go along, guys. I'm doing a definitely create with Linda tonight, guys. So you're here to watch it. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do, the pasta's done. I heated up the cream cheese a little bit in the oven just so it got a little soft. I'm going to put the pasta in here and then I'm going to get building. Okay. Now I made a pound and a half of pasta. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think I'm going to use all of it. It's going to go a lot, like a lot in here. But I didn't use it that much. Here's the sausage, guys. I'm gonna put this sausage in here. The whole thing, guys, even with all the, the, the oil, because I think that's all flavor. That is gonna flavor it. I didn't put, I, I put garlic in with the, um, the sausage, but no onions, because there's onions in the gravy already. Okay. Now, I was going to put it in that other pan, um, but I think that pan might be too small for what I want to do, so I'm just going to put it in here. I have these. My son bought these, like I said. Now, the pasta is so hot that it is melting the cream cheese, and I'm using cream cheese because I don't have any ragout. That's why I'm using cream cheese. I might even put another one in here. Well, I don't know. I'm going to put half and half, so... Now, this is a meal that I'm creating, guys, okay? I, like I said, I'm just creating it. Creating it from, from what I had in the fridge, okay? Going through my stuff, seeing what I had, and I had the sausage that was in the fridge that had to be used. It was in there from, from before I went away. I have pasta in my cabinet. Um, I had two blocks of mozzarella in there that I haven't used since before I've gone away. I, I had that. Okay, so this is all mixed up in here. Okay, this looks yummy. Your eyes, look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look so, so good? Now, what I'm going to do. And I'm debating whether, I don't think I'm going to put another cream cheese in. I think one is good. I think one is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take some mozzarella and mix in this with it. Okay. I'm going to put some heavy cream on it. Like I said, this I'm just going by the seat of my pants with this, guys. It's going to come out like it's going to come out. This is what I do a lot. I got half and half. I don't have any heavy cream. But I did have half and half in my fridge, so that's what I'm using. Okay. I put like probably, I don't know, maybe a half a cup, a quarter, maybe a cup. Eh. Might end up being a cup. I might probably end up um, putting a little bit more. Give this a good mix, see? It's almost going to be like a, 
like a, almost like a vodka sauce, but not with the vodka. It's gonna be like a, um, you know, a creamy red sauce. A little bit more, half and half. I'm using my hubby's half and half. He's up for coffee, guys. I'm gonna have to get more tomorrow. This looks so yummy. It's such a pain about that Cooper. All right, so here's the gravy. Oh, there's still meatballs in the gravy. I wonder if I should put some. Should I put the meatballs in with it? I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm going to do that. There's meatballs in here. Not many guys, but some. It's gonna be so good, guys. That's what you gotta do, guys. You sometimes just throw things together. My family has always said to me that my best, you know, years ago and, and still till today, my best meals are the ones that I just come up with on the fly. Wow, there was more meatballs in here. I didn't think there was any more meatballs in here. Billy said they were, but I thought we ate them all. This is my husband's marinara, guys. My husband's marinara. It came out so good. I'm so proud of him. Now, I'm gonna cut these, well, let me get the little smasher. I'm gonna smash these meatballs. I'm gonna smash them a little bit because I don't want them huge. Where they broke it up like sausages, not as small, but. Guys, we're in trouble tonight because Cooper, it's been raining all day. He has hardly been outside today. You know what that means? That means Hyper Cooper. Guys, so today's the second day um, from the shot. Oh my God. The only symptom that I have is extreme tiredness, guys. I slept another two hours on the couch before. I am just exhausted. That's really the only symptom and a slight headache. A slight headache that comes and goes. So that's it from the, from the second shot. Thank God I didn't have the Moderna. Yeah, and that, I don't know what that was. Um, yeah. So that's the only side effect from the second shot. And I feel so tired. So tired. Will you stop, Koopy? of seasonings in it. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some grated cheese. All by eye, guys. This is how I'm doing it. I'm just doing it by eye tonight. Which you know, guys, I do a lot, right? Some Italian seasoning. A couple of dashes. A couple of dashes of parsley. Dried parsley. A mix. I just want to make sure that it's enough, so I'm putting it all on one side to see how much 
in reality it is. Because if they like it, gotta make sure there's enough. I'm gonna put the rest of the pasta in, guys. The rest of the pasta goes in. I got a big family here. Oop, there's another mushroom. Um, there's another meatball that needs to be broken up. Escaped me, guys. I'm gonna put more gravy, more um, marinara in it. Oh, there's another meatball. I think I felt another ball. Yep, is that it? I guess not. I thought I felt another ball. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to put any mozzarella on top, I'm going to put it all in the pasta. guys so so yummy I might make a salad too you know I do have some extra cheese in there I might put some more um, I might put some cheese on top I'm just gonna put some more marinara on top I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven. Probably for like 20, 25 minutes because, probably like 25 minutes because the sauce is not hot. So the sauce is going to have to be warmed up. cheese okay guys here we go look at that this is going to be dinner tonight let's get into the oven the oven's all heated up at 400 let's get it in the oven thursday night macaroni surprise alexa set the timer for 25 minutes all right, guys, so um, it's in the oven, and I'll be back to show you when I'm done. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, the ZD pasta surprise, whatever it is called, creation of mine is in the oven, I'm waiting for that to be done. Jenny's having hot dogs with chili and cheese because she doesn't want that so or like that so I'm making a hot dogs and I made a baked potato in the microwave that I have to just get out and uh, put stuff on butter on or whatever but while I'm waiting guys I wanted to address something that um, that I saw when I was in um, when I was in Pennsylvania um, I was debating whether to even mention this I don't think I'm gonna mention the name because you guys are smart. You guys can go on, on the, the thing, on the page, and look at look at my comments and all of that. Um, so I'm not going to mention her name because I don't want to really... I want to call her out, but yet I don't want to call her out for making this comment because I feel like it's, again, it's someone's opinion. But, and, you know, um, I realize that it's her opinion, but there's, I feel like I need to address this a little bit. 
So I'm going to read you the letter. I'm going to read you the, the comment, guys, okay? This is what somebody commented on my page the other day. I just don't understand why, why, why you're, you allowed Jen at the age of 30 to act like a spoiled brat when she doesn't get her way. Yes, she has a handicap, but she still can be taught that things don't always go her way. The way she treats her mom is so disrespectful and rude. Disrespectful and rude. Your other children don't act that way on on here. So do you? So do you keep allowing? Why do you keep allowing her to? Okay. Number one, I want to address the fact that Jennifer is yes, she's thirty years old in age, but Jennifer is not thirty years old in cognitive ability. She's much younger. She has a disability called cerebral palsy. Not that I have to explain to you who you know who you are and who I'm speaking to. Um, okay, that's the first thing. Number two, you say, yes, she has a handicap, but she still can be taught the th things that always don't go her way. Jennifer is taught that. I've, we've been teaching her that since she's been a little girl. And for you to say that kind of, ins kind of um, insinuates that we're not teaching her the right thing, okay? Again, I don't have to explain to you, but I am explaining because I feel like it has, I am telling you because I feel like it has to be addre addressed. We, did, we do teach her the right thing. She doesn't always accept the right thing. Her mind doesn't work like a 30-year-old like a, um, a adult works. So this is why she doesn't, she doesn't understand those things. So it's not as easy as her just, you know, not getting her way. Can she listen? Can she, um, you know, um, understand most things? A lot of things, yes, she can. But she doesn't know how to cope. She doesn't understand. And so her, her mind doesn't go in the, in the rational places that our mind goes. So this is why she acts out like she does, okay? Number two. That was number two. Number three. Um, my other children don't act like that when they're on camera. Number one, number one of number three, or whatever it is. Um, I only have show one of my other children on camera, which is my daughter, Julie, who is 25 years old and who has, is of um, cognitive age level. Okay, I wouldn't say normal, but she's, you know, she doesn't have a disability or anything. So she wouldn't come on camera and act like that because she doesn't, because she's a rational person and she has the cognitive level to know not to do that. That's why Jennifer does that because Jennifer doesn't, can't control it 95% of the time. So that's, you know, so you have to, you have to understand that. And again, number, well, no, number four, I think I'm on number four. Um, I get, I get lost in the, in the confusion. Um, number four, oh, I lost my train of thought now. There was one other thing I was going to say. Yes, number four. You see 20, 25 minutes or maybe 10 minutes of a, a snip of how Jennifer is out of the whole day, what goes on. So you have no idea what happened during the day, what, what struggles she has, what frustrations she has, what frustrations I have. You know, you don't know, you don't see the whole picture. You only see part, a tiny little glimpse of the picture. So for you to say that she's a brat and then all of that is really not your place to say. And you know what? She might be a brat. She is a brat sometimes. Yes, she is because she because she doesn't she can't rationalize. And you know, and there are times when she is spoiled and all of that, but that's not for you to say. That's for me to that's for me and my family. So don't judge uh, Jennifer. Don't judge us. Just Stop with the judging, okay? I'm not going to say her name. Like I said, if you guys want to see who she is, go and look on my comments. You could find out. I'm not deleting her. I'm not doing anything like that because I feel like everybody has their own opinion, and I know that I'm going to get negative and positive, um, you know, comments on here, and that's fine. But when you say something about my, my, my child that's not true, whatever, I have to address it. So, guys, that's why I'm addressing it, okay? So, that's it. My dukes are up. And that's it. Go on with life. And again, if you don't like what I what I put out here, if you don't like watching my daughter and I or whatever, then move on. That's why there's a, a subscribe button, and that's why there's a um, unsubscribe. an unsubscribe, whatever. 
Okay, so just do whatever you want to do. If you don't like it, you, you can move on. All right, guys? Okay, I'm going to go check my pasta. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. Here's Jenny. She's having hot dogs with chili and cheese and a baked potato out of the shell. And I just put it, you know, make it like, took it out of the thing and just smushed it up for her. And here's my dish, guys. Yummy. Very small, but I'm having pasta. Let me bring you over here. I want to show them. Yeah, hold me up more. <laughs> and here it is, guys. That's a pound and a half of pasta, and we'll eat it. It'll be eaten. They still have to take some, too, tonight. The, the whole family hasn't eaten yet, anyway. Yet. All right, guys, so this is what's for dinner tonight. And listen, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the bottom with the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload. All right, guys? Great having you here. Thanks so much for your support and always watching. I appreciate you guys if you didn't know it. And remember, don't let anybody dull your shine, guys, ever. Okay? Get up every morning and, 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 and love yourself and, and be who you are. All right? Love you guys. See you on the next video. Bye.